common. Because after 400 years of slavery, convict leasing, lynching, rape, Jim Crow, and the KKK, and the CPD, and the war on drugs, and the AIDS crisis, mass incarceration, stop and frisk, housing segregation, 50 closed schools, and 16 shots, all they have to offer us is budget cuts and more cops. And that's just this one country in an entirely anti-black world. So I am angry. I'm angry and I want reparations for all of it. I'm angry because Rakia is dead and CSU and daycare centers for children are closing but Rauner and Dante servants still get their salaries and pensions. I'm angry people have to survive on minimum wage poverty paychecks signed by billionaire CEOs. I'm angry the largest mental health care provider in the state is Cook County Jail. I'm angry black and brown students get cops in their classroom instead of guidance counselors or libraries. Quite honestly, I am angry there are more people here now than there were marching for Diet or Laquan or Rakia or Damo or Ronnie Man. I'm angry. Combined, I'm angry I have to be here doing this on my day off. I'm angry you won't have to be here doing this, fighting for our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I'm angry we've been doing this for centuries and we are still not free. I'm angry there will be more young black people buried and turned into hashtags. I'm angry people still think courts provide justice and the police serve the communities they occupy. I'm angry. I'm so fucking angry and I'm not ashamed of it. In spite of a world that hates us, degrades us, and terrorizes us at every turn, we are still here fighting back. I am proud. I am so proud to be a part of a people that has always resisted in the face of oppression. I am proud to be a black woman because we are magic and nothing dope has ever happened or will ever happen without us, period. I am so in love with my friends young black people and allies who are showing up and pouring their blood, their sweat, and their tears into the streets every day and shutting shit down and winning. I am inspired by my 13-year-old students who are half my age and already understand that Black Lives Matter is not a slogan. It is a demand. They understand that Black Lives Matter is an affirmation for our people and a dream for the world. The dream that black lives do matter when we make them matter and that it is our duty to do so. We must demand more. We must organize. We must disrupt. We must disobey. We must agitate. We must escalate. We must break. We must create. We must abolish. We must transform. We must imagine. We must remember. We must love. We must live. And we will win. We will win.